right here I can see the wood that means the water has been running on top of the wood underneath and it's going all the way somewhere here in this part of the house but this tile has been broken here for a long time people just come up here on the roof they don't know how to walk on it but you have tiles broken all over you see right here they're chipped this one is broken they, they seal it with silicone this one is broken today we're, we're doing a tile repair my friend is removing the tiles from the top and he's throwing it on the grass when you throw a tile make sure that you uh, I'm gonna show you today how to throw a tile when you throw a tile make sure you throw them like this so that way the tile doesn't break you see the cam is see it make sure that you throw it in a place where you're not gonna hit the plants or hit anything or a pipe or something make sure the grass is completely safe okay you might dig some holes but it doesn't matter because uh, if you throw it you know like you all if you pile it up you're gonna make a bunch of mess so that way you can pick it up easier and uh, it's gonna be easier for you to pick up the tile And this is a new tile that we're going to install. It matches the... What really matters is the channel and the shape. This is a two-piece tile. I mean a two-channel a two, uh, tile. And this is a two-channel too. You see it? What really matters is the, this channel. See everything else matches. You see it? This is lightweight. The other one is a standard weight, but... We don't have any choice, so as long as it matches the the channel, we can install it. A quick tip is that what we did: we remove the. Uh, the old tiles from here from this area and we put new new tiles here where nobody can see them at least from the street and those tiles the old tiles we're gonna fill up the broken tiles right here on the field so that way it doesn't look patched my guy on this side he already patched with some new tiles and you can see where he put the the new tiles i told him to take tiles from the back of the house on this side and then take them to the front but I guess it's too late right now, so anyway, I'll try to fix them if I can. But anyway, but this is how you do it, okay? This is how I do it, I don't care how you do it. So, uh, I take tiles from the from the back of the house where nobody can see them and put them in the front, you know, so it looks, it doesn't look patched. Okay guys, thank you. It doesn't look like a brand new roof, but still, you know, 
it's waterproof for at least the next 10-15 years. All the broken tiles are replaced and uh, all the water penetration sealed and that's that's the most important thing. I seal all the water penetrations, I I fix the cracking concrete motor and I change all the broken tiles. And right here I use the the old tile to uh, to replace the broken one so that way nobody knows the the uh, the tile has been replaced here. Okay, all this I changed about 30 tiles in this area. I changed 80 tiles in total. But right here I changed 80 on this area. 